everybody. So straight off, there's been a bit of dissembling. Because the Pilsner in the title isn't actually a Pilsner. But it is a lager. Cobra King. Double fermented. Uh, meaning, the second fermentation is in the bottle. So this could be quite messy. We shall see. Now, puzzlement. I just wanted to talk about something that I've seen a couple of times on YouTube and on Instagram. It strikes me a bit as a bit odd. Now, I'm not going to name any names, partly because I can't remember who it was, but partly because I'm not interested in criticising people for doing it. I just want to see if anybody else has uh, found it odd. And what it is, it's a particular comment. Just leave that for a second. It's a particular comment, um, and the people who do it will call them the culprit. What the culprit does is comments on something. Um, it can be somebody posts an update explaining that they're having some difficult times, and the culprit's showing support. Or it could be that the culprit's been on the receiving end of a kindness or a gift and wants to express their gratitude. So they'll make the comment about whatever the subject is and then they'll end it with the phrase um, I love you brother, brackets, no homo. What's that all about? You basically told another fella who you're not related to, that you love him as if he was your brother. That's how close you feel. Now if he was your actual brother, you wouldn't say, I love you brother, brackets, no incest, would you? Bizarre. Anyway, back to the lager. So this is a 750ml bottle it's seven and a half percent alcohol by volume and it's bloody expensive four quid that cost so it better be good mm, it's alright lager it's a bit sweet A little bit malty towards the end of the flavour. It caught me out because it had um, allegedly won some gold medals. There can't be much competition. It tastes like lager. So, it's alright. you're pissed. <clears throat> now, the next thing is um, purchases. I'm going to do a sneaky peek look at um, my latest delivery of things what I have bought. Okay let's see what's in the package. Now if you can see the return address, Barry, you'll have twigged most of you that this is a purchase from Heine Haynes. Got charming knife, very sharp. We'll get the invoice out. We don't need to be <coughs> showing that on screen. So, first purchase. Victorinox Spartan. I've already got Spartan. I've got several Spartans, but I've got nothing in the Silvertech 
scales. So, other than that, I believe it's just a standard Victorian Ox Spartan. Looks very fetching. So, we'll have a look at that later. Another video. Then we've got. A rough rider box. Let's move that away a little bit. Rough rider box. And in box. A canoe in red bone. Very nice red bone as well, sort of a beetroot colour. On the morning that I collected my beer parcel from Red Setter Dude at the post office, I was there also posting my white bone canoe off to Lars in Denmark and I thought I would replace it. And the reason that <coughs> I was sending him my white bone canoe was he tried to buy one from um, Heine Haynes but they've all gone. Hence the replacement's red. So that's very nice. And we've got one more. Another Rough Rider box. And this is a peanut with imitation tortoise shell scales. That looks quite nice actually. The main reason I bought this is I do like pe the peanut pattern. Uh, and I wanted to see what the Rough Rider Pretend Tortoise Shell was like. And it's quite nice actually. Clear sections are quite clear, sort of orangey in colour. And then you've got the dark brown blotches. If we're perfectly honest, it doesn't look like tortoise shell. It looks like brown dye that's been dripped into a clear resin and then it's set. Well, it's very nice. Fit and finish seems okay. A little bit of discoloration on the back there, but that'll polish off. So there we have my latest purchases from Heine Haynes. Rough Rider Peanut, Rough Rider Canoe, and Victoria Spartan Silver Tech. Don't know what's going on with the lighting there now. That's all gone bonkers. So, we'll have a proper look at those in separate videos. Well, thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Last thing before you go, I'm giving away uh, a CRKT Jim Hammond Cruiser and a big daft shrade that looks very much like it's um, a Medford Knives and Tools ripoff. Random draw, I'll probably draw it next Friday. If you're interested, um, just use the word puzzlement in the comment below. So have a good weekend, thanks for watching.